Adjust the shutter board so that the light can pass through. Move the blue filter block into place by pushing its appropriate rod. With the light on, the effect is noticeable right away. Move the nose piece to an empty port. You may have to remove an objective to do this. You may also want to open up the illuminator's diaphragm. You can use any stage plate as long as light can pass through. Then you'll place a piece of blank white paper on top of the stage. This in essence becomes our projector screen. Once everything's set, you can power up the lamp. You may want to let it warm up for a few minutes to get the optimal output. I recommend using the eye protection filter due to the high intensity light. We'll start by adjusting the primary focus. This control is located between the body and the lamp housing. The aim here is to make the light projections as finite as possible. You should see two distinct light projections. If the reflected light is out of focus, use the rear focus knob to put it into focus. Next we want to center the direct light by using the adjustment knobs on the side of the lamp housing. The adjustment knobs on the rear of the lamp housing only affect the mirrored image. This can help you distinguish between the two light sources. Once the direct light is centered, adjust the reflected light until the two light sources overlap. And that should pretty much do it.